Last week was Christmas, and the week after Christmas, we left and went down to Palm Springs for a little sunshine, and we came back yesterday, and today had snow. So we are trying to reclimatize ourselves, get warm in this house that's been empty for a week, and clean up Christmas. So we're getting a fire going. This is one of my favorite teas my husband got me for Christmas. It is just a fresh loose leaf tea and this cute little kettle. He does work with a brand. I will link them below for custom teas like this that are organic and made according to your likes. But this is just one way. One thing that I enjoy when it's cold outside is herbal teas. I love them. I got them from my sister for Christmas. I got them from my husband for Christmas and I appreciate them. I drink them throughout the winter and it helps keep me warm. This one is a Nervine blend and it is a relaxing tea with chamomile. I think it's got some rose hips in there, but I will link this in the description box below. We did leave Christmas up when we went down to Palm Springs. So we came home to what looked like the day after Christmas and the house is a mess. Now that we're moving into the new year, I figured I would get things put away before I get into what I have scheduled for January, which is a bunch of canning that I'm going to be doing and I'm excited for. But I need to get the house cleaned up first. Cleaning up Christmas is always a little bit of a chore. No one's as excited to put things away as they were when they put them up. But I do enjoy getting my house back into order and giving it a good mom clean. I just use these blue tubs from Walmart and keep my glass bulbs in there along with greenery and the faux ornaments or the faux greenery to try to help keep their shape and keep them nice and clean in the garage while we store them away again for next year. I also have packing tape and that is one tool that I like to keep on hand because the Christmas trees never fit back into their boxes very well. They're bulging and really hard to get them packed down small the way they were when you bought them. So definitely recommend keeping packing tape on hand for taping up those boxes and then storing them away nicely in the garage. I do love the cinnamon pine cones. I'm hoping that they keep their smell for next year in a Ziploc bag. We will see. If not, I will be putting cinnamon oil on those so that we have them again next year. I love the way that they make the house smell very yummy. This corner now is looking pretty empty. I'm thinking I need a faux tree back there, something to fill in that back corner, but it is nice and cleaned up and the living room is back to normal thanks to the help of my kids. This year I also let my kids put a tree up upstairs in the loft area. So this is one that they decorated themselves. They put it up. I really actually love this tree. I love the way that they decorated it. It looked really kind of Dr. Susie to me. And um, the Christmas train went underneath that and that's always something fun that they have for Christmas. So now everyone gets to help put this away and it doesn't take too long. These ornaments up here are all plastic so that if they got played with or anything, it doesn't matter because they weren't going to break or cause any problems. And I really actually do like this white tree. I had it downstairs last year. Um, this year I decided to go with the green tree, but I, I really like the way it looked up here. I ran to the grocery store this morning and got a few things, including some chicken. And I'm just going to make a really simple dinner. I am going to chop up some sweet potatoes, some new potatoes, and some Brussels sprouts. Sprinkle those with a little bit of avocado oil and some of the usual seasoning it's it's i pick it up at walmart anyways it tastes really good on chicken pork and just about anything so it tastes really good on veggies too so i'll sprinkle it with avocado oil a little bit of seasoning toss that together in a bowl and put that on my cookie sheet and then i'm going to spatchcock this whole chicken 
season it really good on both sides with the same seasoning. I don't put any oil on my whole chicken when I roast it because I find that you get crispier skin if you don't put oil on it before roasting it. The extra oil just makes the skin a little bit greasier and it doesn't allow it to crisp up really nicely. So I am going to get this all on the cookie sheet and then I'm going to roast it in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about an hour to an hour and a half until the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees in the deepest part of the chicken. So I usually check it in the breast or the thigh. I really love these tri-colored new potatoes. They're all baby potatoes, so they're really tender and small. But they come in red, purple, and Yukon Gold baby potatoes. The purple potatoes I love. I grew these in the garden last year, but they're purple all the way through. And your kids might kind of turn their noses up at them at first, but they're delicious. And once they taste them, they'll love them too. A lot of people will just put their veggies on the tray and then sprinkle them with oil and seasoning, but I find that everything gets a little bit better coated if you do it in a separate bowl. Just put a little oil, put seasoning, and then use your hands to toss it really well so everything gets evenly coated before you put it on your cookie sheet. And that way everything gets a little more of the seasoning and the oil mixed together well. And then I am going to put the spatched cock chicken right on top of these veggies so of course i remove everything from inside the chicken all the organs or anything that the manufacturer or butcher leaves in there and then you turn it onto its backside and just cut right down the spine and then you can fold it open this just allows your chicken to cook evenly throughout and it takes a little bit less time to cook your chicken all the way through Now I decided to season both sides of the spatchcock chicken. You definitely don't have to, you can just season the top side. But I like to make sure everything has lots of seasoning on it. This is just a super easy way to make dinner. You don't have to have any certain vegetables. You can use what you have on hand. Root vegetables work great. And then a whole chicken works great. You can also do it with chicken breast. But when you're coming and going from vacation and your house isn't quite in order the way you're used to it, this is a fast and easy and delicious warming dinner for the winter time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some good ideas. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And we will see you next time.